Okay, so basically I have ice on a bunch of different characters unfortunately, so I have more ice that I'm going to use in this video, but I don't feel like switching around to find which ones have ice. Um, but basically I'm going to trade the ice that I have for just like a random season 4 currency. Um, I am buying Mistonium kind of randomly, doesn't really matter. My mouse is being weird, okay there it goes. So instead of depositing it, I am actually just going to consume it for volatile magic. So that gave me about 935. And of course, oh look, you're doing that thing again. <laughs> um, I could also go around and do the node trails on the Living World Season 4 maps. Oh, this is also a good time, I guess, to show how this thing works. Um... <laughs> I don't know that you'll ever need this because you seem to only want to play one character, which is fine, of course, so you don't really need this. But on any character, since it's in a shared inventory slot, I can just choose to go to Domain of Istan. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be the Domain of Istan. I assume any of the Volatile Magic Collector NPCs would also be selling this. It didn't seem like the one that I went to in Dragonfall was doing it though. So here I buy leather shipments and trophy shipments and they cost 250 volatile magic and then one gold. From what I can tell it seems like I always every single time make back that one gold. So when I open a trophy shipment, I get stuff like this. Sometimes it's cheaper blue stuff, sometimes it is the rare stuff, which of course sells for a decent amount. So this one item, just the five vials of powerful blood, if I... I'm just gonna sell it outright instead of listing it just for the sake of the video. Um, I'm already getting a gold and 87 silver. This is loading very slow, or just processing really slow. I don't have time for that. Uh, <laughs> same if I sell this, it's also a decent profit. So if I went and sold everything, for right now I'll just deposit that. And then if I buy the leather shipment, I actually did not get any of the, the main seller, which is these hardened leather sections, they sell for about, sometimes it's 11, someone has listed it down to 10 though, so whatever. Um, this stuff, the stuff that you seem to get the most of, is what level 80 characters get when they salvage stuff. So because there's so much, so many level 80s salvaging stuff, this stuff sells for complete crap, 50 copper. But the lower level stuff sells for a more decent profit, that was 3 silver each little over three. I think all of these sell for like a couple silver each at least, so that's like another, like we definitely have made more than the one gold back just from selling stuff. I haven't gone through and like spent a lot of time looking at these ones, but I have a feeling that you wouldn't make as much money. I guess I'll just, oh, I don't want to waste it for the video. I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> um, Gossamer sells for complete crap. I'll even, I mean, you probably know that in case you don't. Yeah, 17 copper, 21 copper, horrible. Gossamer, same shit, totally useless. And jute, wow, could I have gotten anything worse? So that was not making back my one gold. That was like a horrible waste. So I would say, I mean, you could get uh, wool, sells pretty decent, but it still does not sell as good as the leather and the trophy seems to metal and wood I have a feeling are more like cloth where you're not going to get as much stuff that sells for as high so if you were looking to make the most profit honestly it seems like the trophy might actually be the highest profit one because of how you can get um, this stuff that sells like this is 26 I think the bones are also 20 something uh, right around 20 Maybe it was this that was like 30 some. Didn't I just have something that was like 30 silver? Was it these? No, okay, no. I don't know. I swore that I got something. I think it was the blood, maybe, that was like 30 silver each or something. But the point is, in general, if you buy the trophy, 
or leather shipments, you will make back this one gold plus an extra profit as long as you have the volatile magic to use. So once you have everything for the sky scale saddle, you can start using those currencies or the ice farm to get you volatile magic and then buy this stuff and make gold. Um, today, like I said, I made 60 gold. I have more waiting now. We're up to 70 and then I have a bunch of stuff that I listed instead of selling automatically. I think I have, yeah, I have 120 of these listed so if it happens to sell, unfortunately someone undercut the shit out of me so hopefully my stuff will still get bought. But yeah, that's how I've been making most of my money once I figured this out. <laughs>